Hey, computer people. <laughs> Man, I had the hardest time getting rid and figure out how to get rid of this darn ISO because it was running in the background and I couldn't cancel it. So, the other ISO file was big. I, I, I downloaded a, a smaller ISO. So, this is a an ISO file. I Don't ask me what an ISO file. Somebody can explain it. If you open the properties, it's got a prefix here that says ISO. So, I'm assuming just by the way it's acting that it does some sort of virtual drive or opens another drive so I downloaded this file just so I could show you what happens when you open this sucker so I come back to here and I um, will go to this PC and then it shows these these three right here my operating system my C drive your your uh, DVD writer reader drive and then this is I think your backup drive uh, a partition of some sort so if you look at these before you try to mess with this ISO, it'll look like that. But if you try to activate and turn this and like install or turn this on, it's got all these files in it. You're going to notice now when you open this back up, if I refresh and go back to my PC, it put in a new drive. Where's the new drive? Well, we have this D drive and this F drive and... Uh, you know, so now it, it made this extra drive. So now when I shut this down and try to delete this, it will not let me delete it. It gives you this, uh, well, I must hit rename instead of delete. So on delete, it says try again because it's being used. And you try again and it keeps doing the same. I mean, I went, and then if you open up your task manager to see if you can cancel the operation, your task manager won't even show it. It's not even showing in here because it's in that hidden drive. So I couldn't delete this thing. I couldn't find it. It took me forever to figure out. Okay. So the only way to delete this, and I tried to shift delete, you know, uh, straight to it. I tried to drag. If I try to drag it to the trash, it still won't do it. It says it can't do it. Try again because it's actually using that little drive. So the way to get rid of this sucker, if you have an ISO file and you can't delete it because it's running in the background somehow is you have to open up, find that little stinking drive that's there, right click on it, and it should have an eject option. If you eject that disk, it'll delete that disk. You notice it went away now. Now it's kicked it out to where it's not running on your system. And now if I go back and hit delete, it moves it to the trash. Voila, I empty my trash, and it is gone. Boom. Alright, so that's how you delete an ISO file that's giving you a problem because it's running in the background. Hope that helps.